Like very simply, I, I just put together what I do and what the sharks or San Jose is. It's like, of course, I'm gonna make a translucent shark or a dissection of a shark, you know, jumping the wave. You know, the wave is also like this classic Japanese wave as we know from Hokusai and like this very like something you see in tattoos a lot and stuff, you know, so I wanted to like get that influence a little bit into it. Really basic and as detailed as possible. And things like whatever is going on in the gut, you want to know what the, the shark eats. Those little tiny things make the piece just tight and great. I was up there filling it up with stuff and I was thinking, what, what can I put in there, you know? And I turned around and asked my assistant Eric, he was like, yo, shall I just put the, the, the duck's mask in? <laughs> and he was like, that would be sick. Uh, generally, it's a, it's a very complicated space because it's um, it's a 90 degree angle mural. Like I barely paint something. Like I, normally, it's just a wall. And most of the time, you got to choose one angle where the piece is perfect. But where is that down here? You know, it's up there. So it's like whoa. So this is like the most ch challenging part. Pieces like this, where it's not just about like being colorful and whatever, and it's a bit, little bit more of an intense message. We are all different, so we come up with our own interpretation. And my job as a muralist is to kind of like embrace that. And, uh, and when I see that so many people like relate to it and whatever way interact or take that in, and I'm more than happy that my job is just done at that point. Yeah, I'm very grateful. I'm sure and I hope that it brings a lot of joy to a lot of Sharks fans.